everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys have all had a really great month. I can't quite wrap my head around the fact that it's been a month since I filmed the last reset video. I literally feel like I was filming it yesterday, so I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself, but it has been a whole month. It's time for another reset and I want to kind of change up the structure of these videos every single month just so it doesn't feel repetitive. So today I'm going to start off with the budgeting and I've kind of done everything already so I can get straight into it. Okay, so let's get started. For groceries, I budgeted $350 and I ended up spending $300, which is really, really great actually. We ended up doing a lot of our own cooking in March. So yeah, maybe that saved us a little bit of money, but really happy about that. And then dining out. <laughs> Last month, I actually was under for this, but for some reason, I went over by $100. So I budgeted $200, ended up spending $306.64. But you know, these things happen. Below that, I budgeted $100 for fuel, which I was under. For shopping, I budgeted $200 and I only spent $121. So that's great. Utilities, I budgeted 400. I swear every single month I budget so much money for utilities and then it never ends up being as much as I think, which is a good thing. But I'm just like, am I not due like a bill soon? I need to actually check on that because I swear I'm always expecting like a gas or electricity bill to come out. I need to have a look at that. So anyway, I ended up spending $149. Not bad. For gifts, I budgeted $250 and I ended up spending $144. I feel like I forgot that Brayden and I go halves when it comes to gifts. So yeah, it was a little bit less than I expected. For my home, wait, why did I budget that much for my home? I need to go back and watch my last monthly reset because I have no idea why I budgeted $1,700 because that's not how much my rent is. So I don't know why I did that. Maybe there was a reason, but yeah, I, I spent on par with my rent. For health and medical, I budgeted $50, but I ended up spending $231 because I had a doctor's appointment and I also had the dentist in March. And usually my dentist is actually covered by my healthcare, but I recently moved to a new healthcare provider and I didn't realize that there was a waiting period before I could actually get my rebate. So I had to pay that out of pocket. I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew that beforehand, but you live and you learn. Um, for work, I budgeted $200, ended up spending 170, so that's pretty good. For fitness, I budgeted 100 and ended up being 119. So I obviously underestimated that a little bit. For transport, I over budgeted, I said 70 and ended up spending $27. For entertainment, I budgeted $200, which was definitely more realistic compared to I think like other months. So the ticket that I bought to see Harry Styles went under that category, but yeah, I went slightly over, but not by much. For my health insurance, like I said before, I changed to a new policy and I wasn't sure how much it was gonna be. So I budgeted $200, but it ended up being about $100. So yeah, I'm back on my family's one because you can now be on your family's policy till you're like, 31 or something it used to be is that right don't quote me on that but it's changed for my car i budgeted a hundred dollars and ended up spending 86 i believe that's on my car insurance then for my phone bill i pay 35 dollars every single month so that was on par i did have someone ask about this actually in my last reset and they were like how is it only 35 dollars but me and my family are on a shared plan so we split the data and that's why it's $35. It just worked out more affordable for us to be on like a joint plan. Finance, I didn't budget anything for that, but I did end up making a new category, which is the travel category. And I didn't budget for this, but Brayden and I booked our flights to the Gold Coast. So that cost me $307. And I think I want to start budgeting for this every single month moving forward, just because I want to start saving money to go towards our trip to Europe. So I was actually under budget this month, which is exciting because for the past few months I've been over. And yeah, so I budgeted $4,155 and I ended up spending $3,720.09. Obviously, as you can see, you can do a lot more with these spreadsheets. You can track your income and stuff as well, but I like to keep that stuff more personal. And I'm really excited to tell you guys that I'm actually working on my own spreadsheet, 
which I will be launching really soon so you guys can get the spreadsheet as well if you would like but I just thought it would be nice to have my own one tailored to exactly what I like so I'm sure I'll talk about that later on in the video but I'm really excited about that so now I'm gonna go in and create a budget for next month all right April budget is done as you guys can see I feel like I don't need to talk through every single thing but yeah we will check in and see how we go with meeting them next month and I have added in a $500 budget for travel I'm thinking that it would be good to budget $500 each month to go towards Europe it's going to be an expensive trip but I think that that will just help like with us just getting in the habit of saving towards it so I'm going to set that goal there. Now that that's done, I think I'm going to relocate and do some goal setting, which is personally my favorite part of doing these resets. Let me know what your favorite like segment is. But yeah, I always love getting the budgeting out of the way. Okay, so time to get into the goal setting and planning section of this video. So I really like to write all my goals and plan out my whole month on Notion. This is something that I've got into kind of recently and I've been having so much fun with it. I actually want to perfect it and release some templates to you guys so that you can easily duplicate what I've done because it does take some like playing around with to get used to it but I absolutely love it. It's helped me organize so many different things. It's almost like having a bullet journal in a digital format. It's definitely not finished just yet but I do really like my like life planner dashboard that I've created so this is what it looks like. As you can see I've got like my daily planner here, my to do's, my reminders and then I've got a bunch of different sections here with heaps of hyperlinks that will send me to like my recipes, my monthly goals etc. And then down here I've got my monthly calendar view where I log everything in so I'll do that for April in a bit and try and plan ahead with events and things like that but I'm going to start off by going through my monthly goals so I just have to click on my monthly goals tab as you can see we've done February goals March goals and I'll create a new one for April in a moment but let's start off by reflecting on the March ones and seeing what I achieved let's talk about my habits that I set out for myself in March I wanted to get eight hours of sleep I definitely did this but oh my gosh Sleep has been such an issue for me this month and that's something that I'm going to put on my goals list for April because I have been having the worst sleeps and I actually had a good one last night which was great but I've just had really bad insomnia and I think I've just got into a really bad nighttime routine so I really want to perfect that and make sure I'm doing all of the things before I go to bed to set myself up for a good night's sleep so I'll talk a bit more about that in a bit but yeah, I'll say I did that. I then said no phone for the first hour. And look, I feel like I did this for the first half of the month, but lately I've been slipping up with that a little bit. So I'd say I did that like 50% of the time, but I'm not gonna take that off because I definitely didn't do it as much as I would have liked. Read 30 minutes of a personal development book each morning. Again, I feel like I subbed off the month quite well with this, but then as my sleep's not been that great, I haven't been able to get up early enough with enough time to just like read in the morning so I'd say I did this like 50% of the time. As for journaling I wasn't really like very specific with how often I said to journal but I definitely did do this so I'll tick that off. I then wrote gym program three times a week and I feel like this month I was a little bit inconsistent with this. Again I think my sleep had a big impact on this because I was feeling like low energy in the morning and not wanting to go certain days but I did go majority of the time. I think there was just one week where I didn't go three times. I'm gonna take this off anyway though because I do feel like I did a good job of going to the gym this month. Pilates once a week. I definitely didn't do this. I did it probably like twice this month. Then I said 12 free 30 twice a week. I probably did it like twice in the whole of March so can't take that off. And then plan my day each morning. Definitely did that. As for my personal goals, Create two self tapes. I've already started to tick these off, I've just realized as well. Yes, did that. I actually did three or four self tapes. Oh no, I did four. I then said go for a weekend away in my car and I didn't do this. To be honest, it wasn't a priority and it wasn't something that really like appealed to me. Maybe I'll do it another month, but I probably would prefer to go away in a van. Brayden and I actually were looking at hiring a van this month and going away for like a few days but in the end we decided to book Queensland instead so we're doing that but I would love to hire a van and do like a little road trip at some point but I also feel like if we're gonna hire a van we might as well go for a little bit longer so yeah that's a no for the weekend away in my car do 10 chin-ups with one band look it's not the end of March yet and I think that I could do this I just haven't 
tried. Read two personal development books. I read one in March. I reread Atomic Habits, which is amazing. And I actually finished Ugly Love, which isn't a personal development book, but I finally finished it and loved it. So yeah, maybe I'll set that as a goal again next month because I do want to read a bit more. Practice my American accent for one hour per week. I definitely did this. My friend Jesse and I are currently doing an American accent course at the moment. So yeah, that's every single week. So I did that and then I also practiced in my own time. Dress more for my body shape. I'd say yes, this is definitely something that's been more front of mind now that I've written it down. And I've just been more aware when like buying clothes to think about like if it would suit my body type. Now moving on to career goals. So first of all, I said relaunch my podcast, which I did. If you didn't know, my podcast is called The Inspired Mind Podcast. I'll leave a link in the description box, but it's a personal development podcast and we've got four episodes out now and I'm so happy it's back. Really, really proud of myself for, yeah, getting back into it and into a good routine. And I've been putting a lot of effort as well into the Inspired Minds Instagram because I've been filming like little reels and stuff to put on there. So if you're not following, you can definitely follow that page because there's definitely content on there that's not on like my personal page. So that's a big tick. Then I said photo shoot for the podcast and headshots. Did that, we did the new cover photo for the podcast, I did a little photo shoot, and I also got my headshots, which I'm gonna use for acting and send to agencies. I then said that I wanted to reach 40,000 followers on TikTok, which was definitely a big goal, but we did have an exciting month for my TikTok this month. I didn't reach 40,000 followers on TikTok, but it was a big month. So I actually had a video go viral at the start of the month. So I created this really fun video at the Harry Styles concert where I was like lip syncing to a song from Greece. You might have seen it, pretty much I was lip syncing to the song, You're the One That I Want from Greece. And it was so funny because we literally had no internet in there, so I couldn't even listen to the song. So I had to just guess the words, guess the timing, and luckily it worked out. And then when I went home, I edited it and found clips of Harry singing from the concert that I thought would kind of match up to John Travolta and it went viral. It's also gone viral on Instagram as well. But yeah, that video definitely helped with the growth of both my TikTok and my Instagram, which is so, so crazy. So I've got a screenshot here and at the start of March, so on the 1st of March, I had 26.1 thousand followers. Now I have 32.8 thousand followers. So I went up about, what's that? Nearly 7,000 roughly. Randomly, the exact same video went viral on my reels. And it's funny because I posted it and it didn't go viral at first. It went viral like a week or two, I think, after posting it. Anyway, my Instagram's been going crazy and like I haven't seen this kind of growth in a very, very long time. So it's quite exciting. I've just had a look and my Instagram's gone up 7.4 thousand followers from the 1st of March, which is crazy. So yeah absolutely mind blown, but I didn't reach 40k on TikTok, but I will say it was a very, very exciting month. My next goal for March was to finalize Secret Project 2, which isn't so secret because I basically just told you guys what it was in another video, but me and my friend Jess are working on a program together, like a gym program, so that's that project, which isn't quite finished yet. I then said sign with an acting agency, and I didn't do this. I don't really want to rush that, and again, like I said, I'm going to be changing my hair, so I might have to go get some new headshots before even applying. I then said have a successful money mindset month for the journaling club and I will say that I feel like I've had a great month when it comes to that mindset. I've set a bunch of affirmations on my phone that go off every single hour and those affirmations I feel like have really helped my mindset subconsciously but in terms of the journaling club overall I've been thinking about it a lot and I've actually decided that I'm going to take a break from it for now and potentially come back in a different format because I really don't like the way that YouTube memberships works. It was my first time ever doing a YouTube membership and I thought that that would be the best way to like host this club, but honestly, it's not very user-friendly. You have to sign up via a desktop. You can't even do it via a mobile. And I just don't really like how it's all set up, but I feel like it would be better if I did the videos live and made it more of like an event where we could all come together at a certain time, do like a live Zoom and just have a really fun like couple of hours where we can all chat and just talk about the theme for that month. I'd love to know your thoughts and if that's something you guys would be interested in because I thought that would be 
really, really fun. I just think that sounds a little bit more exciting to me, the idea of having like an event which is virtual, but we can all look forward to it, all be there at the same time, chat, answer questions, have a topic maybe I can have guests on, and it just sounds a lot more fun to me and more interactive. So for the time being, I am pausing the journaling club while I figure that out, but I just did want to say thank you so much to the people who did join. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much for supporting me. So my next thing on my list was release Notion and Google Sheets templates. So like I said earlier, I really want to release some templates for Notion for you guys, but I just want to make sure I'm 100% happy with them before releasing them. So maybe that's something I can try and do in April. And then I'm also currently working on a Google Sheets template for budgeting, because as you guys know, I've been doing these budgeting sections of these videos and I got a budgeting template off of Etsy, which is really, really good, but there's a few things that I'd like to add to it. And so I thought, why don't I make my own one and then you guys can get it as well. So that's currently being worked on. I was hoping to have it done by this video, but I'm not sure that it's gonna be done. And then the final thing that I wanna do is revamp my website. So. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with this, but I feel like there's multiple branches within my personal brand and business. So there's Ella Victoria, the Inspired Mind podcast, and then Elements of Presence. And at the moment, I've got a website for Elements of Presence, but I want to try and like make more of a hub for everything. And I need to make a website for myself, I think, which is kind of like a dashboard that leads you to all of my different things. And then I also just like overall want to rethink what I want to do with Elements of Presence because I've got so many different ideas. I think actually when I launch like my templates, I'm going to pop them on my Elements of Presence website. But yeah, look, I feel like I'm so guilty of oversharing before I've like finalized my ideas, but I think there's going to be a bit of a relaunch there at some point in the future. But for the time being, I'm just chipping away at Elements of Presence and selling the products that I do have, but yeah, I think there'll be a bit of a relaunch at some point this year. I hope you guys enjoy hearing about that side of my life because I really enjoy talking about it. I feel like there's so much that goes on up here. I'm very creative and always brainstorming ideas, but it's really nice to speak about it out loud. And sometimes it gives me a bit of clarity of thought by talking about it as well. And ultimately I wanna create things that you guys are happy with as well. So any feedback that you have is always really, really appreciated. But yeah, they are my goals that I set out for myself in March. Some of them happened, some of them didn't, but now I'm gonna get on to setting some new goals for April. I've just moved out into the other room because it was getting so hot in there, but I've also gone through and made a big list of all of my goals for April. Again, I've just like split it up into habits, personal goals, career goals. I think I wanna make a financial goals one as well, but I'll keep that a bit more private. So first of all, for habits, I've got reading for 30 minutes before bed. I already do this, I'd say like 50% of the time, but I wanna try and do that even more. And then I wanna take magnesium every single night before sleep. I've been starting to do this more. I got out of the habit of doing this, but that does also help with sleep. I then wrote no phone for one hour each morning, no phone for one hour before bed. I want to wake up before 7am every single day and be in bed by 9pm. As for personal goals, again, I've put read two personal development books. I've also written down log in my habit tracker. So like I said before, I did create a habit tracker on my Notion last month, but since I didn't have the app, I wasn't really able to track it very easily. So this month I really wanna actually track it. I've also written schedule and rest each week. This is something I really wanna try and do, like actually sit down with my planner and be like, okay, this is the day that I'm gonna rest or I'm gonna have this time to just literally switch off and not think about work. I've then decided that I wanna try and do one unassisted chin up next month. I think I can do it. I've also written again, apply to acting agencies. Last month I said to sign with an acting agency, but I've decided I don't, I don't wanna rush it. I don't wanna feel like I need to rush things because I've been very much in that mindset lately. Like, like as soon as I think of something, I need to do it then and there, which is really good. I like that I take action, but I don't like the anxiety and pressure I put on myself when that thing doesn't happen. So I think I wanna like break down the steps to achieving my goals a little bit more instead of being like, okay, no, you need to have this this month. Because I believe that whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve. But I also think it's important to know your limits and know that like you don't always have to be striving for more and you can like take it easy because you have a whole life ahead of you. You don't need everything right now that you can enjoy the process and not get too stressed out about it. 
So yeah, I've just written down apply to acting agencies and we'll just see where that goes. I then got do a 5am wake up challenge for a week. I'd love to do this for a video as well and document how I find waking up at 5am for a week because it might be like life changing for me. So let me know if you'd like to see that video. I then got create a savings account for Europe and then finally I've written down get good quality sleep each night. So moving on to career goals, there's a few other things I haven't written down that I just feel like are a bit more personal, but this is what I felt comfortable sharing. Release Notion templates and Google Sheets template, revamp my website. I'd like to try and reach 185,000 subscribers on YouTube. Then I've said 60,000 on Instagram, 40,000 on TikTok, finalize my gym program with Jess. And then I wanna do two auditions. Why do I write two, two auditions? Two auditions or self tapes. So whether that's just like sending off self tapes or doing like in-person auditions, I don't know. I'd like to try and do that next month. We will see, but they are my goals that I've written down. Let me know in the comments what your goals are for April. I think it's so fun to sit down and like just make mini goals for each month instead of having just once for the overall year, because that way we can hold ourselves accountable and we change so much throughout the year. So I think it is a good thing to intentionally do. I've actually got a nail appointment now and I haven't had my nails done since the last monthly reset video. They've very much grown out. So I think I'm going to go back to doing like the Hailey Bieber glazed donut nails and I'm going to keep them on my natural nails and keep them short. I've been really liking that. But yeah, I want to get them done just in time for our little Queensland getaway. Maybe I'll do a bit of a pamper when I get home and just actually just indulge a little bit more and make myself feel good. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together It's been a little bit, so I've got my nails done now, I've had my dinner and I'm ready to start doing some journaling and reflecting But I want to show you my nails, I just got the glazed donut nails, just some pink ones. I really like them. I just think they look super clean. But yeah, I'm going to go back into Notion again. And I'm going to go and have a look at the calendar and pop in some dates that I need to remember. We have like a few things happening in April. We've got a wedding. We've got some birthdays. Should be a fun month. Okay, so I'm going to start off by going through and popping in the birthdays that I've got coming up in April. So I've got two of my closest friends' birthdays in April, so that's really exciting. I've got to make sure to go and pop in the Easter date, so Good Friday. So the wedding we're going to is on the 23rd. I'm then going to be starting some more acting classes on the 19th, so that's going to be every Wednesday. As for my upload schedule, I know that I post a new podcast every single Wednesday, so I'm just going to go pop that in as a reminder. And you can also go through and like color code everything, which I might do at a later day and link some stuff. But for now, I'm just going to pop everything in as like a reminder so I can go in and like fix it up later. And then I like to aim to upload on YouTube every single Tuesday, just so I have a schedule for myself to work towards. But sometimes depending on if like the video is sponsored, I have to upload it on a different day, but then sometimes as well, life gets busy and I can't have a video up on the exact day that I'd like, but I do get a video up every single week. So I'm just going to go through and put a new YouTube video every single Tuesday, just so I kind of know that that's when I'm aiming to get it up. I think that's everything that I'm going to schedule for now. I definitely could add more things in there and get more specific because there are certain tasks for work that I like to do on certain days of the week, but I think I'm just going to do that as I go. But yeah, that's my rough plan for April. Now on to some journaling. I don't know if I even mentioned why I'm wearing like a onesie, but I fake tanned. So yeah, this is my little tansy. I think I'm going to journal in bed. I just feel like it's the place to journal. You know what I mean? I need to be comfy. I've just spent some time journaling and even though I love like planning on Notion, there's nothing like 
having a good old journal and just like literally writing down your thoughts. So I'll share with you the prompts that I've come up with. So I've got what are my highlights from March? What lessons did I learn in March? What has been my biggest challenge? What were my biggest wins? And then what energy am I bringing into April? And what am I looking forward to in April? So I'll share with you some of the things that I said. For my highlights for March, something really, really exciting that happened is that our duplex, which is an investment property that we're doing, um, was finally registered and settled. So now that like the deposit has been settled and stuff, we can actually have it start being built which has been like a year or more in the making. I haven't spoken about the duplex in ages, but if you guys didn't know, Brayden and I are currently building a investment property and we started this whole process literally two years ago and it still hasn't even started to be built. So we've had to learn to just be patient and trust the timing, but now all we need is like council approval and then the build will start. And then I feel like the ball should move pretty quickly once the build starts, but yeah, so that's exciting. The registration was the thing that kept getting pushed back. It literally was pushed back by a year. So I'm really, really happy that it got registered in March. Some other highlights were relaunching my podcast, booking the Queensland trip that we're technically doing at the end of this month and the start of next month, doing my American accent course, going out for dinner for my sister's birthday. I just felt like it was really good quality time with my family and it was really nice to actually get along with all of my siblings. It just really made me realize how much like everyone's grown up. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Obviously going to the Harry Styles concert was a highlight. Don't know why I didn't put that at the top of the list. Then doing a Pilates class with Brayden, I love doing that. And then also Brayden and I went and got Krispy Kremes and watched the airplanes take off a few times. And that was like a really nice little thing that we did that I definitely want to do more of. As for what lessons I learned in March, I said, I learned how valuable rest and sleep is. Without good quality sleep, you can't show up as your happiest, best self. And a nighttime routine is really important. As for my biggest challenge, I said that my biggest challenge has been switching off my mind when it's time to relax and yeah, just stressing myself out for no reason. My biggest wins were growing my TikTok and Instagram and having those videos go viral. Also paying the duplex deposit was a big win, making progress with my American accent, and then relaunching the podcast. The next prompt I have is what energy am I bringing in to April? And I said, calm, chilled, and in flow. I am feeling positive and inspired. I have a great work-life balance. And then as for what I'm looking forward to in February, I said Queensland, my friend's birthdays, a wedding, the weather getting cooler. I'm so honestly keen for the weather to be cool. Easter, working on new projects, and then like releasing digital products. So that's what I'm excited about for the new month. Anyway, I'm gonna practice what I've been preaching throughout this video and go to bed now and get a good night's sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this reset video. Please let me know what your goals are for April. I would love to know. Chat to me in the comments. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.